Common Rainer here from Sage Investors, and I'm here to get you in the loop about what's going on, what I'm seeing going on in the markets. Uh, investing is about making decisions about what's going to happen in the future, and oftentimes we rely on indicators, clues that can give us some kind of feedback or foreshadow what things are going to happen. So right now, one of the basic you know, indicators uh, uh, that I'm looking at that I always keep seem to be falling back to these days is uh, is the yield curve, and it remains uh, somewhat significantly uh, inverted. And usually that's an indicator, if you go back through time, is an indicator that tends to foreshadow uh, recessions. So right now the yield curve remains stubbornly inverted. And so at some point, no idea when, we could be seeing some slowdowns. The other thing that's jumping out at me as an indicator also is uh, on the services side. Traditionally, when we're looking at inflation, we're focusing on the good side of it. But um, on the services side, uh, a lot of people are expecting the services side to be ticking up and we'll be seeing inflationary pressures and more activity. But it seems like recent uh, ISM surveys on the services side are pointing at contraction, which is quite surprising. So again, another sign of things appearing to be slowing down. That being said, the markets seem to be moving along quite happily. So what's going on? Why are the markets all happy, happy? Well, it seems like they are pricing in the fact that there might be a recession, but it might be very short or it might not even happen. And if that's the case, if there is a recession, then ultimately the Fed and central banks are going to start lowering interest rates, which tend to be great for stock prices. Um, the reality is if we do enter a recession, if you're mind mapping this, uh, that means Companies' profits are going to go down. And so if profits are going to go down, that's not great for stock prices either. So there's this underlying tension that continues to be going on here. And at some point, somebody's going to be wrong. That's all I got for you for today. Uh, if you want to follow me, you can follow me on Twitter. My handle is at Sage Investors. And if you want more information on my investment coaching services, you can find me at my website, www.sageinvestors. That's it for everybody. Take it easy. Bye-bye.